We're in a 2016 Silverado, and I just put it back to idle at this point, right where you see that dip right there. Everywhere else, it was at 1500 RPMs for about almost four minutes, three quarters, three minutes, uh, just, just a hair under four minutes. Released it, went back to idle, then you see that little dip, and then it does a correction. So you could see the average up and down, somewhere around 21 PSI, but now we're at idle, and it's about 22 PSI on average. So the average up and down averaged about the same as at idle, and we know compressors don't work efficiently at idle, and we're looking at superheat and subcooling right now. So right there, that 22 degrees of superheat, subcooling is the red, the liquid line, the suction line, is around 33 after 31 33 so that's the subcooling right now this is the expansion valve system if we look at the pressures the same thing if we look at the pressures at 1500 rpms which is before the minute three and after i put the idle you see that the computer takes over and roughly holds it almost the exact same look at the pressures before and after within a one PSI. That's because it's a variable displacement compressor. If we look at the temperature, 46 degrees, and it was 46 degrees when I was at 1500 RPMs. It didn't make a difference. I gotta data log this right now. I forgot to data log it. I was doing it on my phone before starting the video and already took my log uh, readings for the customer. So the customer gets a copy of all this and then you can snapshot each one of these if you want, and then you also can make a full page report that'll take a conglomeration of everything, and you get, let's create a report. And this is what a report looks like. And uh, it gives you all your readings. Let me zoom in or get really close and clear there so you could read. This is exactly what your customer will get, and this is exactly what will stay inside your invoice if there's any uh, discrepancy of what a customer says and what you did or your technician did. And remember, you as the owner or shopper or manager, you can have six guys out there and on a screen in front of your desk, you could be reading all this live. So you can tell if one of your guys was having trouble, you could have this on your desk seeing what your technician is seeing. So if you know more, you have a entry level technician and he's not too good at air conditioning, you could still be at your desk answering phones and doing paperwork and every now and then take a glance at what he's looking at. And if you see that he's struggling and he can't figure out a problem and he comes up to you and hands you a piece of paper what he thinks is wrong, but when you were looking at his readings from your desk inside the comfort of your air conditioned office, you go, okay, there's a problem here and what he's telling me is not right and you can correct him and you could explain to him how you came up with the reason why his diagnosis is not right and you can walk out on the shop floor, give him a hand and a little training, hopefully you can. Um, uh, yeah, that's it's that simple. Every shop should be doing this. Schools should not be teaching analog gauges no more and stop trying to charge cars by pressure. See you guys later.